हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द सक्सेस न्यू होम ट्यूटर टिल नाउ वी हैव लर्न इन अवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर द इलेक्ट्रिक चार्ज एंड द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फील्ड दैट इज हाउ द चार्ज इज चार्ज टेक प्लेस एंड हाउ द इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फील्ड इज क्रिएटेड ओके सो टूडे द टॉपिक्स दैट वी आर कवरिंग इज बेसिक्स ऑफ चार्ज दैट इज what is charge then its unit symbol its type their properties and direction next part is conductors and insulators what are conductors what are insulators their properties and the difference between both of them next is charging by induction till now we have covered or we have seen the charging by rubbing action now we will see the charging by induction and the last part is properties of electric charge that is what are the properties like properties like addi additiveness its uh, conservative uh, property its quantization property and so on okay so first we will see the basics of charge now what is charge it is the property of matter that causes to experience the matter itself the e electrostatic force when there is a new electric charge which is near to the first one okay so this is electric charge and they falls into two categories positive charge and negative charge it is observed from experiments the like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other and this this is due to the field around these charges the field is electrostatic field why this uh, the uh, dictionary meaning of electrostatic is static means that rest that is charge at rest so the electric field that is operating on the charge which is at rest or which is static the the charge the unit of the charge is coulomb and its symbol is capital q or small q charge is a scalar quantity that is it has no direction also there is a uh, uh, property like conservation and quantization okay so now there is a new concept conductor and insulator when some bodies are rubbed with another body they get charge but some bodies do not get charge the bodies which get charge are called conductors so the example for conductor is metals animal body humans earth etc and the other uh, body uh, other category is called as insulator like wood nylon plastic glass etc when the charge is transferred to the conductor it gets readily distributed over the surface okay so uh, what is conductor it conducts the electric charge okay and the insulator means it resist the electric charge the insulator does not amount the um, movement of the electron support the movement of the electron that is why they are called insulator which is similar to the dictionary meaning insulate there is third category also that is semiconductor which is intermediate between conductor and insulator but th that we will see in next part okay so there is a new concept earthing same it is known as grounding also when a charged body brought in contact with earth earth is a positive um, conductor okay right now we have learned that earth is a conductor so when a charged body brought in contact with earth all the excess charge on the body excess charge mean that is moving around it that that which is moving around it disappears and there is a current which pass to the ground ground is earth after connecting a conductor this process of sharing the charges this process of sharing the charges with the earth is called earthing or grounding earthing provides safety measure for electric circuit also appliances also etc what are the appliances like tv refrigerator electric iron etc now we will uh, turn to the di uh, diagram okay 
here it is a object which is mounted on insulator and it is negatively charged that is excess negative charge and in this object there are x is positive charge obviously it is mounted on insulator stand okay so here the grounding or earthing means making object neutral or uncharged and if the object is negatively charged like this it takes the electron uh, it takes the electron to the earth okay and if it is positively charged the move, uh, there is a movement of electron from earth to the object okay so this is called as earthing and gra or grounding and it is useful in electricity wiring okay so that uh, in detail that will be covered in net next chapters okay now we will learn charging by induction till now we have learned the charging by rubbing action now we will see that there is no any contact or no rubbing between the two objects first of all two metal spheres are taken and they are mounted on insulating stand and they are brought in contact with each other and ch by charge they are neutral there is no charge or um, charge on those bodies now a positively charged rod is brought near to the first metal sphere okay as this is a positive charge there is a induction of negative charge on the right side of the sphere okay so it is negative charge and to this part of the sphere the, there will be obviously a positive charge okay so this is positive charge this is negative charge now in this side of the sphere there will be positive charge now again by the property of the electrons as here there is a positive charge here there will be a negative charge and due to the distribution there is again positive charge okay now this is a induction that is no contact just by in, in inducting the charges now we will see here that the when the rod is removed and when the both metal sphere are separated the they retain charges okay so first of all the metal charge were inert now there is a charging and after separating them again they are charged so this is called as charging by induction the magnitude of force which depends on the distance between is uh, will be dependent on the distance between charges okay now we will turn to the basic properties of electric charge okay the first property is additivity of charge now consider that there are uh, there are two point charges that is q1 and q2 so the total charge will be q1 plus q2 this is because like real numbers the charges get added okay and also they are scalars like mass of the body now if like uh, if we consider the above example if we take n charges that is q1 q2 q3 up to qn so the total charge will be q1 plus q2 plus q3 up to qn charge has no mag has magnitude but no direction which is similar to mass however the mass is always positive and the charges may be positive and may be negative by taking this into consideration if there are five charges like plus plus 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4 and minus 5 in some arbitrary unit the total charge will be 1 plus 2 that is 3 plus minus 3 that is 0 Plus four that means one and minus five means minus one. So the total charge will be minus one in the same unit. Now we will see the second property of charge. The charge is conserved. Now when the char um, uh, the charge is induced or by rubbing action the charge is produced. There are new charges on the uh, there are charges on the body. But here we have to consider we have to confirm that there is no charge is created and no charge is destroyed charges may redistributed around the material 
but the total system is isolated the total charge on the system is zero before and after the creation of charge now the third property is quantization of charge experimentally it is established that all the free charges are integer multiple of basic unit so if we have to write down in an equation then we can write q is equal to ne q means the symbol of the charge n is any positive or negative integer and e is a electron okay so the basic unit of the charge on the charge will be negative or positive it is uh, by convention it is taken okay so the fact that electric charge is always an integral multiple of e that is electron is term as quantization quantization means the quantity and quantity is obtained by the integer n okay thank you for watching our video and don't forget to like share and subscribe success educator thank you